Hi everyone. I want to talk to you about rhinoplasty, but specifically reshaping of the tip. This is like one of the biggest, most important parts of rhinoplasty. And it's a reason why a lot of people seek rhinoplasty. So to really understand how this is done, I wanted to show you this model. This is a model that is used to teach rhinoplasty to plastic surgeons. So as I mentioned, this is a model of the nose we use to teach rhinoplasty. And if you remove the covering, so the skin, it shows the basic cartilage structure of the nose. The bone is up here. And this area is what forms the tip. And it's it looks deceptively simple, but it's actually very, very complex. So it's actually formed by two different cartilages. This is the left side and that's the right side. Both pieces start down here. The right side goes up, curves over, and forms the right nostril. The left side does the same thing. And here is the top of the cartilage on the left and the top of the cartilage on the right. So this is the, the entire width of the cartilage. So the shape of the tip is determined by several factors. One is how much it curves this way. So you can imagine that a sharper curve would make a more defined tip. A broader curve like this would be a wider tip. Another thing that determines the size of the tip is how wide each cartilage is. So you can imagine this one's pretty wide, but someone who has a very short width here would have a smaller tip. Same on if it were on the other side. And then another issue is how far apart these two points are. These are the what's called the tip defining points. So the farther they are away from each other, the broader the tip. The closer they are, the, the more defined the tip. And then the last thing that affects the tip is the skin. You can think of the skin as a covering over the cartilage. So you can imagine that someone with very thick skin will, will have less definition and someone with very thin skin is going to show all the definition of the cartilage so they will have more definition. Now in rhinoplasty, we have a couple of ways to improve the definition. So one way, a very simple way, is to just remove cartilage. So here's the bottom of the cartilage, here's the top. Simply removing cartilage from the top part will make the tip smaller. Another way is to take stitches from this point across to the other side to sharpen the angle. And that's going to make each cartilage more defined. And then another way with stitches is to take a stitch from this point to this point, pull them together and make these points closer together. And then yet another way is to put cartilage grafts, so that's using cartilage from the nose, inserting it in between and then having it come through and out to push the skin up like a tent, creating more definition. So those are steps that I use when I do a rhinoplasty. And those are the ways that we define the tip and make a rhinoplasty very beautiful and natural.